I was seven years old when I was on a boat in Lake Lemon with my grandfather. And we, this was his prized possession, and we bonded out there on the lake. And we were, uh, it was an overcast day, and it was just beginning to drizzle a little bit. We came up to Riddle Point. At that time, there was a dock, and there were a bunch of people gathered around, standing there in a dock. We pulled up and got out and, and looked around, and, and everybody was standing there. They were all quiet. They, and nobody was saying anything. And uh, we looked around, and by golly, there, there was a body there on the dock. And uh, this young man, uh, just a few minutes before, had been swimming with his buddies and playing, and, have, and now he's, he's dead. I don't think I'd ever seen anything quite like that before. He's gone, but, but everybody there, I mean, you know what? No one was saying anything, and I sort of knew, even then, at seven, I, I knew I didn't have anything to say. I mean, what is this? And yet, everybody there was encountering something real. I mean, they were encountering a little awesome, unspeakable reality. And everybody that knew it was real. Sometimes I will read the Herald Times and I'll flip over to the second page and, and, and I'll, I'll see a picture of one of my friends. Oftentimes somebody I grew up with that went to that high school that isn't there anymore. But I'll see their picture on the second page and I will say, uh, wow, uh, isn't that interesting? And, and then I'll flash back to the picture that was in the yearbook and say, boy, that picture doesn't look a whole lot like that picture. Where'd that kid go? And, uh, and where'd my buddy go? Then I think for a second, I think, wow, you know what? His picture or her picture in the yearbook was just a page over from mine. And where'd that guy go? Michael, where'd you go? Or at least that version. And, uh, and then I think, oh, wow, you know what? I'm, my picture's going to be here on the second page maybe real soon. And probably sometime. And I take a moment and I just experience the awe of that encounter with whatever that is that's unspeakable, 